AC condenser tubing. This was a product example from Four Seasons. And when I was at the Max Annual Convention Expo. So you see two different tubes here. Now the one at the top usually represents a cheaper manufacturer. It could even be worse than this. This is not even that bad. That's one you see up here. This one that you see down below more represents like what you would see in a Denso in a factory. This is what would come in the factory and on top of what would become in one of the cheaper manufacturers, but not all the time. So I have a pin right here. If you want to see how easy these things get plugged up, take a look at this. So what we'll do is we'll get a pin and we will try to go in. Let's see if I could do this correctly. I'm going to try to get right about here and show you. Here's the pin. Here's one of the, you would say one of the cheaper manufacturers right there. You see that? A lot of room right there. Okay. Now it all comes down to surface area. You see how many fins there are in there? There's more surface area on these small fins or small tubes than there is. And that's how you dissipate heat. Now here's a pin. Let's go into one of the ones that's more like a Denso. You can't even get inside there. Doesn't even fit. The head of a pin. Let's go close up. Yeah, we are close up. You see the head of uh, the ballpoint pin? So this is your regular Bic pen. See, it even says Bic on it. If you look at the end of that ball, if you took that ball out of there and you tried to put one of that ball inside there, that ball is bigger than the tubing on your condenser for your refrigerant flask, uh, passages. This is why you can't flush these. This is one of the reasons why. The other is the headers, the way the chamber of the headers, the way it goes around like a muffler with chambers in it on the side headers, you can't flush those out either. And that's why you don't flush these things out. One of the more inexpensive manufacturers, more like an OEM Denso. And this is why you stick with the OEM and you don't go with some of the cheap aftermarkets. Because it all comes down to the surface area is what dissipates the heat. And the less surface area you have, the less heat dissipation. So they could replace the tubes one for one and it would not match the heat dissipation as something like this. It's all when you're taking engineering and thermodynamics and fluid dynamics, there's actually math formulas for figuring this out. And if you have all these dimensions, the materials and everything like that, it proves both in math and in taking uh, pressure temperature calculations. But that simple, a little sample from Four Seasons. Uh, if you guys go to the MACS Expo that's in Tennessee this year, February for three days, that's where I'm going to be at. Uh, there's a lot more inf information there. But yeah, stick with the OEM. Unless the aftermarket can copy exactly what the OEM is, then it's okay to go aftermarket. But if the aftermarket says they're selling you something that's equal and as good as OEM, but they can't prove it, you can't, you, they can't match it, then don't buy it. It's real simple. See you guys.